Hi, so this week we were looking at DJ culture, in particular Paul D. Miller, otherwise known as DJ Spooky, and what sampling means to him. He says that we're always looking for structures to put moments and words into context, and any outside expression, either on a face or body language, needs to be made into information before we can understand it. And he says that media, and specifically sampling, work together in order to help us understand reality, and he has a very postmodern view on what reality is. He likens DJing and sampling to the web and search engines, and says that like search engines are an archive of everything that you can find on the internet, so too is DJing an archive, and he says that the DJ is only as good as the archive, which kind of makes sense, you're collecting all these different samples from different places around the music industry and putting them all into one place where people can see or hear quick snippets and decide what they want to listen more to and what they don't. Building on his postmodern idea, he also likens DJing to American culture in general, saying that people are always building up their identity from bits and pieces like all the different samples that build up a track. Which comes out of this idea that we are not one identity once we're born, but rather we build it up as time goes on. And he says that in society there's this fragmentation where different people react differently to different things, much like in DJing, which is actually kind of a weak analogy because you could say that about anything rather than DJing in general. He also says that DJing is like academics, and actually references academics in pretty much every answer he gives in one interview. And his argument for this is that everything is, needs constant revision, nothing is perfect the first time round, and that also everything is a theory, you know, it's not just academics who come up with theories about how life is supposed to be, and how life is now, but artists themselves have their own theories about what life should be, and they often put this in their music, either as quite an obvious feature, or something that you see once you start reading between the lines. And although he sees hip hop as art, he says it's often not discussed in this way by other people because of the classifications that have come with it, like it's seen as something for lower classes, or a low culture as Hall might describe it. Although Miller does have a lot of well thought out and detailed arguments, he kind of can't decide what sampling is and what DJ culture is in regards to the rest of society. He has so many different ideas that you kind of get lost of what it means to him, and what it's supposed to mean to us. I like how he speaks about different academics in regards to DJing though, like it kind of puts it in a new perspective, one with a lot more detail, and it stops becoming just music, it becomes something a lot more thoughtful. But yeah, I did kind of get lost on what he was trying to say at some point, like because he draws on so many different arguments, he doesn't kind of have this one big conclusion, which would be helpful for people trying to discover what sampling means to him or to society in general. He's a bit like a student who thinks that more references means a higher grade, when in reality that's not true, it just makes a really confusing essay, or for him a really confusing point of view. Anyway, that's all I have time for, and I will see you next week. Bye!